Now I took profit off Friday because we're getting really close to this resistance. So this is the resistance and of course we are in the overbought area as well which is this 73.92 so you know we, we good morning good afternoon good evening guys well this is your boy francis and welcome if this is your first time you're welcome now what i'll be talking about today is going to be the weekend popular chat demand and this involves large price large cap uh, stocks okay um with that being said guys if this is not a recommendation to buy or to sell any stock that i may lay out here it's just for you know entertainment purposes only you know um so now um in terms of the market spy s p 500 etf i talked about it on my previous video which is the stock watch list okay for next week so um just take a look at that video and see what i talked about in terms of you know just take a listen what i talked about in terms of the market the qqq the iw and as well the rot as well so with that being said let's get into it and the first one here is going to be facebook fb now fb actually did a fantastic fantastic pullback into the 200 moving average which is a very clear area where institutions tend to come in and buy right so right now i'll be looking to pick up some around this area okay we rejected the 50 exponential moving average only to pull back down gap down all the way down close to the 200 moving average okay so in my opinion i think this area is a very solid area to pick up some instead of picking up right around this 380 right so keep an eye on uh facebook next one is going to be a a okay so this one um right now we have price trying trying as much as price can to pull lower below the 20 exponential moving average but guess what we also have our trend support right here so i'm expecting this 49.50 49 spot to hold as a support if anything happened okay then we can look for price to push into 52 hold 52 then we'll continue to push you know higher but overall this 52 area is going to act as the right side of the shoulder so keep an eye on it and see if we can bounce off this uh trend support apple aapl right now apple has a bearish looking a pattern this left side is the left side of the shoulder we have the right side of the shoulder and this is the head okay so I'm, I'll be expecting price to really push through this 150. If it doesn't, I'll be expecting price back down to 145 on the name. 146, 145 on the name. So keep an eye on Apple. Abivi, ABBV, look for this area to really break through. It's been consolidating around this area for quite a while why because we have about 20 we have about 50 and we have about 200 um moving average right around this area so they're really stuffed so i'll be watching i'll be looking for in a 110 area to really break 109.50 break into 110 and then we can be able to push higher on the name so keep an eye on that a b n b okay airbnb um right now the 200 has actually revealed itself right so this green line right here whichever you see right is your 200 moving average so um this area i'm expecting price to hold this area which also coincide with the 50 exponential moving average so keep an eye on this 165 164 area to hold as a form of support bounce so look for that 
And we'll also have BB, Blackberry, right? Um, Blackberry right now, all you got to think about is a support. Where is our support? This acted as a support, which is our 200 moving average. Now this also acted as a support, but failed, right? And now acted as a resistance. So acted as a resistance and we push through. Now this area, I'm expecting this area to hold as a support in the coming days. So keep an eye on that level as well. AFROM, keep an eye on this one. We are flagging on this as well. Okay, so keep an eye on this area because this is going to be our flag. All right, if we can break through 156, we'll be able to get through into 160 easily. If this area of 150, 155 doesn't hold, expect price to push down to the 145 or what even 140 area right here. So keep an eye on that. AMD. AMD has been a fantastic one. I've been taking profit off and off and off and off. So um, I think right now I took profit off Friday because we're getting really close to this resistance. So this is the resistance. And of course, we are in the overbought area as well, which is this 73.92. So, you know, we, we, could, we could get something around the 90 or 85 you know uh percent rosi but keep an eye on it just see if we can reject this area and then pull back down to 115 then continue moving upwards but keep an eye on that name amc amc did what i wanted amc to do this past week reason is because i was expecting price to try and retest 45 price retested 45 but we couldn't push above the 45 so we rejected 45 only to get bounced back down into the 20 and 50 rejected 20 and 50 we close right around the 66 uh 36 60. so this is going to act as our support here let's expect a bounce in the coming days if it doesn't i'll be expecting 30 dollars on amc next we'll be looking at amazon why Amazon? Amazon did what I call the boom boom candle, but boom boom candle to the low of the lows. Expect price to really hold around this area. If price hold, I think we'll continue to push back up and retest this resistance, what I call the trend resistance. Okay, I'll be looking for something around the $3,300 call option or even the $3,350 call option on Amazon. Boeing as well. Keep an eye on Boeing. Why? Because right now, this I'm expecting 210, 211 to hold as a support. If that area holds, I'll be expecting some form of a bounce to the upside. But it's a beating down stock anyway. You'll be looking for like a long term hold on uh, Boeing. B A B A. This one right now, um, we're really in the resistance zone, which is the 180, 181 level. So, um, Keep an eye on this area. If we can consolidate just a little bit around this resistance, I think we'll push through into 185 or even 190. But your, your support is going to be this trend right here, which is 170. So 170, 171. So keep an eye on that as well. BEKE, -E, um, right now I have three levels. Okay, 2750 and then support at 2250 or 21. Um, 80 so keep an eye on that uh, particular level B L U E blue keep an eye on this one right reason why because we are trying to fill this gap and as a result we have our support right below the $21 spot so keep an eye on it and see if price can really continue to push above 22 and then higher on the name okay Baidu as well this is a Chinese one as well uh, keep an eye on this one right now. We have 180 as our resistance, you know, 183, 180 as our resistance zone, okay, uh, which is the supply spot, okay. Uh, right now, our support is going to be 175 if it comes, but overall, keep an eye on this area, see if we can bounce off this train, right? That's what you're going to be looking for. BMY, Bristol Myers, right now, this is going to be a bottom bounce play. Okay, this is a bearish, bearish looking chart, right? But look for 59 break into 160 and we should be all right. 
BNTX as well right now. Our support is going to act. This 20 exponential moving average is going to act as our support so that we can reclaim the 50 into 300. 300 hole and break, I think, will continue to push higher on Bristol Myers. CLOV. Um, this one right now, we are feeling the 20, which is not good. Okay, which is not good, but overall, I have this trend as my support. So keep an eye on it if price push pull down to seven dollars as well. DIS, this is Disney. Disney is in the demand zone, so keep an eye on this one. If it doesn't, then I'll be looking for double bottom bounce on the name. Cisco as well, CSCO. This one, keep an eye on this one. I'm expecting the reclaim of the 20 and 50 exponential moving average area. So uh, keep a very close eye on that one. DPZ, this one was an earnings report pulled back down. This area right now, this 450, 460 spot is the supply zone. Right now we're bouncing right off this area. I'll be looking for 475 uh, spot to really hold. 470, 475 spot is going to be our uh, demand zone. BTBT BT as well. I'm looking for price to really bounce off this area. Okay. Um, overall, if it doesn't, I'll be looking for a retest of this trend, which is nine dollars. So keep an eye on that uh, level. Ford. Ford is as well. We're into you know pushing into resistance. So I'll be expecting some pullback into sixteen dollars on Ford. Okay. Discovery. Uh, D I S C A. This is also. Um, I'm looking for this to bounce off these lows. Okay, we're making some form of uh, consolidation around this $26, $25 spot. So look for $26.50, $27 break, and we should be all right. Fubu, uh, Fubu as well. Keep an eye on Fubu. Right now we have $28.52, which is also around this $27.74 as our uh, 200 moving average. Overall, your 2736 is going to hold as a support because why? That is your 2050 exponential moving average zone. Okay. GME as well. This one really did uh, 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 poorly on Friday. We pull all the way back down, you know, breaking this support zone all the way back down to the 200 moving average. I'll be expecting this 200 moving average to hold. If it doesn't hold, if the momentum continues to the to downside, look for 160 on the name. Lucid group as well. This one right now, the 200 moving average is your spot to, to, to pay attention to, right? Uh, right now, 25 break, I think we'll continue to push higher on Lucid. PUBM, we are retesting this trend breakout. If this trend breakout really holds, the 25... 2550 holes i'll be looking for 30 dollar retest right as well arrow ide look for a uh, triple bottom bounce on the name there roku as well i'll be looking for price to really pull into this 300 if it doesn't i'll be looking for a bounce of the 315 on that name paypal PYPL, this is a very nasty, nasty boom boom candle to the downside. I'll be looking for double bottom or triple bottom, right? Triple bottom one to you know, uh, bounce on that particular name. PINS as well. I'll be looking for a bounce off the $56 zone because we're pulling back. The momentum will push this back to 56. But overall, look for a support around this zone and we shouldn't be all right. PTON as well. This one is really doing good. It's trying to reclaim the um, this trend level $95 spot. So keep an eye on it. If this 95 hole 96 come easily and we should be looking at $100. NIO as well. Look for Tesla. As Tesla it begins to push. This one also will push as well. But your support is 38 right now on this name. Myra as well as Bitcoin begin to push, expect this to also push. Bitcoin pulled down, expect this to pull down, but your support is going to be $45 if this $47.50 doesn't hold. That is the area you'll be looking at. 
uh, Modana as well. This area, we did play this bounce, right? We played this bounce into resistance, and this resistance held and we pushed back down. Look for 345, 343 to reclaim, and then we'll continue to push higher on the name. Nvidia as well. I like Nvidia because Nvidia right now we have the 230 as our resistance. I talked about it last week that I will be expecting price to push into 230. We push into 230, 231. I'll be expecting a pullback into 220, 225. So keep an eye on Nvidia. Microsoft as well. We are flagging to continue pushing higher, but this trend is going to act as your support. So keep an eye on Microsoft for the coming days because it's going to be really you know it's going to be juicy Pfizer as well uh, this is going to be a long-term stuff I'll be adding as time goes on because you know I added here in anticipation of the bounce we did bounce and made almost uh, you know two dollars in the name so keep an eye on it as we are about to break off the 200 exponential moving average volume is coming in those are buy volume and the RSI is also fantastic so keep an eye on you know Pfizer too arrow o o t this one as well look for a bottom bounce play into six dollars in the coming days also we have tesla tesla right now is in the resistance zone okay this is the resistance zone okay um also i have this trend right here which is going to be our act as our channel right so Tesla, I'm expecting Tesla to push into 950 or even a thousand dollars on the name, and then a solid flush back into this 905, 99, uh, 909 level. So keep an eye on Tesla for this coming days. SDC as well. I'll be looking for a bounce off this area because right now we're tapping it the third time. One, two, and the third time. So keep an eye on that name as well. Sam as well. We've played this one before in this area right here when we bounce off because I was expecting a bounce. We bounce right off into resistance, pull back down. Now we're going to support 500 and we'll see if we can continue to push higher on that name. Wish as well, guys. I'm looking for a retest of this spot. If this $5 area, 525 holds, I think we'll continue to push higher. Sophie as well. This one was fantastic. We are in the resistance zone, which is the 21. I'll be expecting a pullback into the solid 20 or even $19 and then we'll continue to push. But if volume comes into uh, Sophie, I'll be expecting this resistance to really, really break. Zoom as well, Exxon Mobile. Right now we're in the resistance zone. Rejected this 64 only to pull back down. If price really doesn't hold around this area, I'll be expecting 62 to hold. 62 doesn't hold. I'll be looking for the 20 exponential moving average. And finally, guys, these are not the whole stock. I'll continue posting more on my Twitter and stock tweet account. Now let's take a look at the final one, which is Walmart. Okay, Walmart. I talked about Walmart a couple of weeks ago. I said Walmart. I will be buying Walmart at this thirty-five, thirty-six dollar area. That is what I said. And guess what? We bounced right off because we made a triple bottom. Okay, we bounced right off this area because I was expecting it, right? following the market because if you take a look at it look at it we've got below 30 percent on the rosi that is also something to consider on a very good company like this you expect a bounce okay it's not a penny stock or a small price low float stock this is a very solid solid stocks that trade millions of shares each day okay so right now we are in the 71 percent on the RSI, which is the overbought zone, but at the same time, keep an eye on it if we can retest this 150 again. But overall, I'll be looking for a pullback because we're really extended. Okay, 147, 146 break, I think will pull back down to 145, which will hold as a form of uh, support. If it doesn't, I'll be looking for 144, 143 area to add to my long term uh, portfolio. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Have a fantastic weekend. Have a fantastic week ahead. Be a positive mind out there and have a fantastic one, guys. Peace.
and love. Bye-bye.